I came up with the idea for my new book, Suck It Up Buttercup, because I really wanted to appeal to type A dominant direct leaders who don't really use emotions at all to make decisions, they use facts. And what better way than saying, suck it up buttercup. What I mean by suck it up buttercup is to shove your ego and emotions to the side and to be open to new ideas and perceptions. And above all, to shut up and listen. The people who will benefit from reading my book are pretty much anyone who deals with any other human beings. It will teach you to communicate in order to get what you want, either done or sold. In my book, I talk a lot about diversity of thought and everybody asks, what does that mean? Diversity in the traditional sense, well, we know what that means, but diversity of thought is really diversity of experience, education, personality style, generational style, and how people communicate in general. It's really about being open to ideas and perceptions of people that are different than you. So how do you motivate someone to work harder for you? Well, in the past, I used to say, suck it up, buttercup, but that doesn't work at all, as we all know. You really have to find out what makes that person tick. It may be money for some people, it may be a challenge for someone else, but for most, it's a simple thank you. And guess what? It's free, so it fits every budget. We hear a lot about leadership. So what does it mean to be a good leader? To me, it means setting expectations up front, stepping in when your team needs help and speaking up for them. Sometimes just getting out of the way. Above all, you should be listening and put yourself in other people's shoes. So what's up next for the HR lady? Well, currently I speak a lot in the state of Florida and I'm ready to take it on the road for HR and business conferences across the country. I've got a lot of stuff to say and I've got a lot of stuff to share. And I know that not everyone has had great mentors like me, so I wanna share that.